in this video let us look into the six trigonometric ratios now before we get into that let's quickly see what is trigonometry trigonometry is nothing but the study of right angle triangles or the measurements of the right angle triangles right so definitely you know before we get into these six trigonometric ratios we will need a right angle triangle and here we have it here it is the right angle triangle right angle at a and you know that in a right angle triangle uh, there is a side called as the hypotenuse right so this is that side which is called as the hypotenuse and say we need to have an angle if this is a right angle then you know let's say this is theta if this is theta then the side opposite to this is the opposite so this is opposite and the side adjacent to this angle is uh, is called adjacent all right so this is the most basic thing that we have to know before we get into these six trigonometric ratios so now these six trigonometric ratios uh, deal with respect to this theta so you know the first one would be sine of theta so sine theta now what is sine theta it is already called a trigonometric ratio right so what is the ratio sine theta is equal to the ratio of opposite by hypotenuse so that is sine theta this is one of the six trigonometric ratios so the first one is sine theta the next one is cos theta so what is that now what is that ratio equal to cos theta is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse what is the next one the next one is called tan theta what is tan theta equal to tan theta is nothing but it is opposite by adjacent right so these are the three now there are the other three trigonometric ratios which are kind of a derivation from these three let's see what are they first one would be cosecant theta cosecant theta is nothing but the reciprocal of sine theta so the reciprocal of sine theta is uh, 1 by sine theta which is uh, hypotenuse by opposite so cosecant theta is hypotenuse by opposite and then we've got secant theta which is also you know abbreviated as sec theta so it's actually secant theta this is cosecant theta this is sine theta this is cosine theta and this is a tangent theta but these are all like abbreviated as sine theta cos theta tan theta cosec theta and sec theta or secant theta it's pronounced secant theta more often than not so secant theta is nothing but the reciprocal of cos theta which is hypotenuse divided by adjacent so that's the ratio that secant theta is equal to and then we've got which is the reciprocal of tan theta cot theta the full form of cot theta is cotangent theta so cot theta is nothing but the reciprocal of tan theta which is which is adjacent divided by opposite so these are the most talked about six trigonometric ratios or rather the most basic things that we have to know once we start trigonometry to solve any kind of problems based on trigonometry so these are the six most important things and these are directly related to a right angle with a theta in it you know if the theta is here this is the case in case the theta was here the opposite would have been here and the adjacent would have been here that's all is the difference it, the opposite and adjacent is uh, completely with respect to this theta the side that is opposite to this theta is the opposite and the side that is adjacent to this theta is adjacent but the hypotenuse is always a longer side in a right angle triangle i'm sure you know that and uh, that also is related to the pythagoras theorem which we've done a lot of times in the previous videos so now, uh, now that we know the trigonometric ratios, let me quickly tell you how do they use these trigonometric ratios, you know, in a very brief way. What happens is, now, if you've got the theta and say you've just got uh, one side, the length of one side, and you want to find another side, the, the length of another side, then you just have to find the value of sine theta, you know, what is sine theta? Say if it is 60 degrees, uh, sine 60 would be equal to root 3 by 2, and root 3 by 2 equals say you've got opposite and you don't have the hypotenuse so you substitute the value of opposite and just find the hypotenuse so that is how you use these ratios in actual problems which we'll definitely be looking into in the coming videos so we don't have to worry about that now so i'll just brief you up quickly if, if at all you're wondering why do we use it well that's how we use it we mainly use it to find the lengths of 
the sides of a right angle triangle. So that's pretty much it. That ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts based on trigonometric functions. Thank you.